What do all these knives have in common? They're a little plain. They are a little plain. Yeah. In the artistic world, that's what we call a blank canvas. These would be a blank canvas? Mm -hmm. I could see that. Yeah. Just kind of basic scales and no real color going on here. Yep. Yeah, I can see it. A little carbon fiber on this guy. Cool designs. Oh, yeah, for sure. Right. They're awesome knives. I, I agree, though. Blank canvas. Yeah. What you got going on? Whoa. Guys, if you were watching our um, winter EDC video the other day, this one made its first appearance since, well, pimping. <laughs> this guy got pimped. He got pimped. This is the VDK War Admiral. And, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to kind of talk about tonight is... Knife pimping and where this particular one got <laughs> done at. Frankie, once upon a time, we did not like that term at all. Now we love the word I wouldn't, pimp. I, I wouldn't say love it, but I've just come to terms with, like, <laughs> that's just what you call it. That's what you do. <laughs> Check this out, guys. You pimp your knives. Um, if I can get a photo, if I can bring in a photo of before, I'll show you what it used to look like. Check it out. There's also a mirror edge on there. Um... Yeah, this has been done from what was a really plain knife, wasn't it? It was kind of similar to these guys. Basically, yeah. I think kind of the sheepdog kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Really, yeah, pretty similar overall, just plain, basic. Yeah, that's the color choices that we went with. What do you guys think? I think I it know. turned out good. I do, too. I do, too. Really happy with it. Um, what did he do? Let's see. He uh, acid stonewashed the blade. Yeah. Check that out looks really cool has a kind of a weathered look to it and you can see there he's got a mirror edge on there um, Andrew is his name yes at fanatic edge he uses the wicked edge which is one of your top knife sharpening yeah, systems. That's a great one. yeah um, he put the wicked edge on there I'll tell you the story of why I didn't sharpen it and just let him do it in a second <laughs> but because you know normally I just sharpen my own knives but anyway he did that edge and it's 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 great uh, what else did he do anodized gold scales yeah check that out Let's which is a cool color. finish very cool finish on that, yeah. And then he Cerakoted um, the hardware black, too. So Check it has that out. Let's nice get close up finish. to that. Set it down. Okay. Oh, it's upside down. Okay. Yeah, Cerakote black on the hardware. So he took this whole thing apart and uh, went to work on it, didn't he? Yeah. Well, it, be, along with the sharpening, he reprofiled it. Reprofiled the edge. Degrees. Is it 20? Yeah, uh -huh. I think that's what he said, yeah. Check that out, guys. I didn't get any paper out, but it is very, very sharp. Would you it, call it wicked sharp? I would call it wicked <laughs> sharp. It meets my standards. Yeah. For sure. Love this knife. Well, and I loved it before, guys. We did a review on the BDK after we got it. Um, but, man, it's... Now well, this now one just, it's your own. It, 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 you this one's it mine. Custom. This one's definitely mine. That's what I wanted to do with it. Andrew, you did a fantastic job with this. Um, we're going to give you a little bit of a shout-out and a warning to those out there, Frankie. Yes. With knives like this. I okay. know. I want to do right. this one and this Even one. Even this guy. And this one. And this one. And this one. All of these ones. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Do your spider flick. Can you do that on a cold... Uh... Oh. oh. Sorry. Usually takes some practice. Almost. You almost oh, got there. Got that one's a little... Oh, there you got it. Third try. Third try is a turn. Sorry. Yeah, if you guys Sorry, have guys. knives like this... Um, that are rather plain and titanium scales that could use a little work. Um, Andrew can do it for you. All right. So here's the deal. Um, Vlad over at Blades101.com hooked me up with, with Andrew. He's been doing a lot of the work on the War Admirals and other knives. Also the Pioneer is what I'm seeing. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of cool We'll show you, we'll show you some pictures in a second. But um, So I got in contact with him. I'm like, well, what, what if I did gold and black and we went through the whole thing? And uh, he's like, would you like me to sharpen that too? And I was like, well, normally I do my own sharpening. And, and then he gave me the quote, Frankie. And I he know. Said, he You're said, like, okay. Yeah. He, said, he said $100 shipped. So that was done. And it would it would have all this work plus the edge. I was like, you know what? Go ahead and sharpen it. Okay. Sure. And that took about a little over a week. All right. So I sent him the knife. I got it back in a little over a week later. Just like this from that's a awesome. pine knife, hundred yeah. bucks. Yeah, and that's so, what um, the turnaround is right now, ish, one to two weeks. At the time of this video, I just talked to Andrew a couple days ago. He said uh, one to two weeks is typical right now, but keep in mind that can change at any time. I mean, you know, depending on how many people see this video and are like, right. "Oh, I got to send my knives," you know, uh -huh. that could change. Um, but we'll see. Just check with him. We're gonna put all the information down below. He he just started a website. So that's still young. It looks like it's still maybe in the works a little bit. Yeah. Um, but you can always get a hold of him on Instagram, and then we'll put his email, of course. 
Speaking of Instagram, also um, check us out, Birdshot IV. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's go into everything that he does. Oh, services? Yes. Yeah. Pimping in general. <laughs> let's go pimped. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it is um, custom titanium anodizing, Obviously, of course. right. Yeah. Um, acid stone washing. Yep. Sarah coating, which he did to the hardware. Yep. Wicked edge sharpening. Which he did. Everything in our knife so far there. Um, edge restoration. And repairs is what he was saying as well. Yeah. And then black oxide coating and media blasting. Yep, yep. Sounds like you could bring a set of wheels to him, car wheels, and, and get some stuff we done. Could, yeah. We could do that. We, we could have used that a while back. A little, uh, little about Andrew. So this is his part-time job. He is uh, active military at the moment. So Sweet. that's pretty cool. Yeah, he's doing this work on the side. You making some room, Frankie? Yes, I'm going to make some room. All right, I know what you're doing here. I'm bringing in the coffee. Yeah, so like I say, his, his website's just getting going. But um, this is his Instagram here. You can see him on Fanatic Edge. Man, he's mm -hmm. got a lot of followers. Well, and look, look there's a sheepdog. There's a sheepdog, yeah. He's got videos and photos on here. But this is just samples of some of the stuff that he does. Load more. Felix is licking my leg. <laughs> oh, there's a Chavez. Oh, look at that, look at those. Yeah, Pioneer of the Now. Pioneer of the Now. See, mine looks boring now. Frankie? I know. <laughs> it's really boring compared to those. I need to change it now. That's why I, I say warning, guys. Uh, getting your knives pimped. And look at that warning. That one. Oh, nice. Very cool. Yeah, um, you give him an idea and uh, he'll run with it, it sounds like, pretty much. Yeah, there's some really cool ones. I love that color combo. Here, get the mouse off the stuff. I'll take that burger, please. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, I recommend following Fanatic Edge, um, but at your own risk, because if you've got knives that you know can uh, use yes. a little bit of work, I, I brought the the mini jettison out because that is, actually is a titanium scale. Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, all kinds of anodization options here. Oh, there's, there's mine. Aww. There's mine. I think it's a video. Play it. I learned our little catalog model. Yeah. Push play. You put it to music. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Black and yellow. <laughs> he even appropriately themed it. <laughs> nice. Oh, he did the middle flick too. Frankie, you're into club. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's the edge. Very nice. All right, go back to the others. We don't want to just focus in on mine. Just press out of the screen. Yeah, tons of stuff here, guys. So many options. There's a spidey chef. There is a chef? Nice, nice. Yeah, we're thinking about doing ours too. See, kids and knives. It's a great combination. It's, it's a, a thing. great combination. Well, it's at least a thing. That's yeah, a sheepdog. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Little girls with sheepdogs. I mean, come on. There's some cool stuff, guys. Yeah, anyway, we just wanted to let you know that's our um, War Admiral. Custom to us now. Really custom to me, Frankie. That was my knife. Yes. Oh, you're supposed to get your um, uh, Pharaoh. The little pharaoh. Oh, I'm getting that soon? Yeah, because you could get that done too. Ooh. Maybe we could send those two in together, the pharaoh and this knife. And the spidey chef? Maybe. Oh, man. Andrew, yeah, you might be getting some dog. more work. And the sheepdog. See, that's the thing. <laughs> I, that's Again, that's the warning, guys. Blank canvases. Love it, love it. It makes you think differently when you just order a basic titanium frame. Yeah, scale. you're just like, what could I do with this? Oh, I brought this one out. This is the Les George. What is it, the 900? Yeah, uh... Yep. 900, yeah. Mm -hmm. We only bought this one because it was gold. We always loved the knife, but they were plain, but that's before we did the... Yep. Got into the pimping. So. <laughs> <laughs> it still sounds weird. Yeah, anyway. Bird pimping? That's bird pimping? No, we don't do it. Maybe in the future we'll do something. For now, <laughs> we'll, we'll stick with the lanyards and, and, and drawings and stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's Andrew. I think, I'm pretty sure he's out of Florida, but um, he can do some pretty cool stuff for you. All the information down below, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um... Thanks, Vlad, for, for uh, steering us his way. And, yeah, Andrew, you'll be seeing more from us. Yep, exactly. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot for joining us, guys.